What is up you guys, my name is RVZ and welcome back to City Training. Now, we need to improve uh, City's uh, magic a little bit more. Yeah, it's 50%. Gotta get it high. And uh, soon enough we'll have a room for Shani. I think it's just one day away. Alright, let's sleep. Use the map in your room for Shani. Yeah, okay, we got Shani room. Okay. Ah, Vazimir, please come in. That's quite an impressive collection of books. It's more than trees and city I have combined. Uh, most of them are not mine, of course. We had lots of old uh, medicine books, only gathering dust in the basement. City helped me carrying them back here. They'll be more useful if someone would actually bother reading them. Oh. They must be from the time when Witcher's Trial was developed, I figured as much. Some of them are pretty rare, while I've never even heard about others. They will be interesting to read, if nothing else. Anyway, thanks for the room, it's quite cozy in here. If you or anyone else need medical help, I'll be happy to help anytime. From now on you can visit Shani's room, providing she is not busy. Shani can quickly heal city battle wounds and other diseases. I should learn more about Shani. The real Vesemir doesn't know her, so I have no information about her whatsoever. Ask about Triss. So, what's your story with Triss? I got a feeling you don't get along. Let's just say we have a low... We had the love triangle at some point? Oh, you mean Vizima. Yeah. I thought me and Geralt would have made the good couple back then. But it was before I got to know him better. I see, so you and Triss are not rivals anymore? Correct. But some hard feelings remained since then. Probably because I was quite... I skipped that for some reason, I don't know. I see. There is no reason for their rivalry anymore. I shouldn't try too hard to reconcile them. I just need to wait for the right moment. They'll be okay. Find a way to... Oh, they'll be okay. Don't worry about it. Shani is not nearly as dangerous as Therese, but I still should be careful what I ask her. Could you please tell me a bit more about yourself? Of course. I was born in 1250. I finished my doctorate in 1270. And I opened my own clinic in the city. And I'm still single. Ooh. Wait, that makes you only... Three years older than Cyrilla. Precisely. We became friends pretty fast. While I was staying in her room. She's a sweet girl, but a bit naive, someone her age. Huh? What do you mean? I took a few books to kill time during the trip. I was reading a chapter where the main character had a sex scene when Siri asked me what I was reading. What the fuck? Okay, fine, you. If this is nothing wrong about that, it's a book with a sex scene, okay, fine, okay, fine, whatever. I started reading it aloud and City blushed and quickly left the room. What kind of book was it? This book from my personal collection? Whoo! I can read it for you too if you want. Yeah, maybe another time. But like you said, Cyril should know more about such matters already. You know, I could help with that. Sexual education is a part of medic duty too? Well, really? We don't talk about it to avoid trouble with the church, but everyone else either can't or doesn't want to do it. So it's up to us to teach young women. This could be an excellent opportunity to teach uh, Cyrilla something new. Could you teach Cyrilla too then? Sure, but you'll owe me for that. Alright, how much? I don't mean money. I like some good wine one day in return. But in the meantime, feel free to send City to my room at night. I'll see what I can do. Oh, great, thanks. Okay, can I talk to you still? Sonny, uh, what can you tell me about the Scoyotil attack? Not much, I'm afraid. It was dark. I was in the wagon and couldn't see who the attackers were. But soldiers outside repeatedly shouted about a Scoyotil ambush, and I've seen lots of elven arrows stuck in the wagon. I see, sorry about asking, but I need more information about them. I understand. Okay. How did you meet Geralt? Looks like your life's too quiet to know someone like him. 
Uh, yes, it is pretty much. Gerald and I have a common friend who introduced us to each other. But you're right, we barely get to see each other. I see. And how did you manage to find out about the castle location then? Well, we had to talk about something after se- well, oh. oh! Oh, okay. And she told me about both the castle and city. What about city? She needed some medical assistance when we both were in Vizima. You see, she's allergic to magic potions. So, more traditional medicine was her only hope. Interesting. I could take advantage of Triss's allergy to make her seeking for Shani's help. I just need some potion. Huh. We got along pretty well until Geralt showed up. I see. Okay. Some of those ancient books are fascinating. They contain unbelievably detailed information about physiology and mutations. I have no idea how authors managed to get this information. Probably from experiments on people and other creatures alike. From what I heard, mages who created the trials were not exactly kind-hearted. Trials? What are you talking about? Oh, I guess it's not common knowledge. Witchers were created through a few trials involving various alchemical regions, hormones and drugs. No way, this lost knowledge will be priceless for modern medicine. I will study every single book in the castle. Uh, have fun then. Do you have anything else to say? Is everything alright? Yep, I'll be studying your books for the time being. But if you need a doctor, don't hesitate to ask. Okay, I appreciate it. Alright. So let's leave. Let's keep on training Siri. Train Siri into magic. Yep. And another one into magic. Okay, now what? 100%. Okay. I finished the book, Uncle. Uh, and did you learn something from it? Definitely. I can't wait to test the uh, Yarden sign or someone. You'll have your chance soon, don't worry. Siri learned the uh, Yarden sign. It allows her to capture monsters when they have one health point left. As long as you have at least one free cell. I can capture the monsters. Hmm, interesting. So, everything is 100%, no need to train more. Can I chat with you? Can't think of anything else I'd like to talk about, okay. Uh, Shawnee's lessons. Regardless of your training, Shawnee agreed to teach you a few things. You'll be visiting her at night before sleeping. At night? Isn't it too late for training? Don't worry, it's nothing difficult. Alright, if you say so. Okay. Uh, use Axie. Let's try something fun. There's stomach, there's grab, okay, I don't wanna do anything, so, of course. And punish, I don't think, uh, I don't need to punish her, so. So I guess I'll just wait for it to make, to be night, I guess, or, oh. Cyril uh, finally managed to improve her alchemy and magic knowledge. I shouldn't let her focus on her favorite melee training in the future. A sorceress ally is much more valuable to me than a simple swordsman, well, swordswoman. I know a perfect way to put their skills to the test, that old uh, aphrodisiac recipe I found. And judging by the recipe, it should be suitable for normal humans. But I should ask Triss, just in case. Alright, fine. Uh, let's... wait, I need to make the recipe or do I need to talk to Triss? Not quite sure. Let's go to Triss. Yo, Triss, yes? Uh, use potion on Triss... oh! Okay, let's talk to her first. Hey Triss, I found these notes. Mind taking a look? Notes? Okay, one minute. I showed her the notes I found. Hmm, very impressive work. Really? You think so? I mean, there are plenty folk remedies for improving potency and stuff. You don't get it. The alchemist who did it, he was trying the impossible, returning fertility to witchers. This potion is merely a sub-product, but it basically works in the same way. It increases lust without fail, no matter how low it is. Do you realize how much it is worth? Do you think we can sell it in the sorcerer's store? Absolutely! Then again, 
You need to get the required reasons somehow. It won't be easy. I can help with selling potions at the sorcerer's store, but extracting the regions and potion crafting is up to you and city. No problem. First we need some cells in the dungeon. Secondly, city should capture monsters using Gerdan's sign. Third, she needs to extract regions without killing them. Monsters. I'm not sure she would agree to that. Leave that to me. And once everything is ready, we'll start making potions. We've unlocked the aphrodisiac potion recipe, it can be sold for a good price in the sorcerer's store, but it needs special ingredients. Send city to capture monsters, extract ingredients from them in the dungeon and craft a potion. Okay. That's good. Now use potion on Triss. Triss, we have an emergency. I spotted some kind of golem in our basement this morning. A golem? How did it look like? A huge humanoid made of stone with some kind of glowing runes all over his body. I'll check the basement and set up additional magic traps immediately. I've seen golems a few times in my life, so I described one to make her leaving the room. Let's check her wardrobe now. I don't sense any magic traps nearby. The fuck are you doing? Ah, there it is. Triss panties. What the fuck? Why do you need the panties? What? I'll drape a few drops of them. Shouldn't hurt her too much. It won't work if she never wears them though. Let's hope she would. I'm done here. Not much I can do, but wait until it takes effect. What the fuck? Two reds. Ah, huh, weird. Let's talk to Siri. Do I need to talk to you about... No, I guess I don't. So, monster hunt then? Can I capture a harpy? How do I capture a harpy? Let's see, if I attack... Oh, you missed. Counter attack. Okay. Wait. Oh, you mean okay? Counter attack again, and another counter attack. Can you use the sign? There we go. City uses the Jordan sign on the weakened. Okay, victory. So it's captured. Right. Now what? Go to the dungeon. Oh. Fertility, hunger, health. About. A winged uh, kleptomaniac capable of stealing even intangible things like dreams. Most of them are rather ugly, but RPs living around Karamoran are more human looking, even though they look pretty. Extracting potions provides RPX. Okay. So, Arvest then. I don't understand. What is it that you want me to do? We need some RPX. And how do I get them? That's a good question, I'm not so sure myself. Let me check the books, there must be some hint. Yeah, I don't know how to fucking do this. I need to teach Siri how to <laughs> get the X first. I guess I searched for a book, yeah, about harpies. Let's see if I can find something here. You spend some time checking the books. Ah, this looks promising. Siri needs to read this one. Okay. Oh, and I don't need this book about riots anymore. Might as well put it back. Right. Yo, city. You called? Uh, yeah. Uh, wait, no. Train. Wait, no. How do I give her the book? Oh, right, I need to click on the books. I summon... I should summon... to my room first? Siri stops reading the book. Maybe I could learn something about the book. I'll keep the book just in case. Goals and... okay, alright, fine, but... Let's get her to read that book then. So, she's reading a book. Alright. Fair enough. How do I... Uh, I guess I'll just... Skip the day? By exploring the basement. Anyway. It's night, by the way. Send City to Shawnee. Let's see. Good evening, City. Evening. So what's all this about? I'm kinda sleepy already. Not the best time for training. It's nothing too serious. You just have to read a few books of my choice. You can do it in your room. Just don't forget to return me the book. Oh, okay, sounds easy. But why do it at night? Well, you'll see it in time. Uh, during night training, your goal is to select a book for Siri to read. 
Reading the same book over and over won't advance her training. Siri may refuse to read the two hardcore books until she's done reading less hardcore ones. Uh, now select the only one available. Okay. Green Denial. A group of Dryad captures a royal messenger. They must make him talk, but since torture is not an option, they don't have any other means to, except for their hot young bodies. Okay, fine, whatever. How about this one here? Uh, what? What was the point of giving me that book? Did you like it? No, I'm a witchress, not a harlot. Haven't you heard uh, about Geralt's adventures? I bet he spends at least half of his day in bed with someone. Ooh, are you implying I should do the same at some point? Oh, no, of course not. But knowing nothing about it would be equally wrong. Or maybe you want Geralt or Vesemir to explain such matters to you? Anything but that, alright, I'll do it. But don't tell anyone about it, deal? Deal? Okay, you read the book, it's fine. Oh, we got the letter. Okay. Witcher Vesemir, I am a sage. My power lies in possessing the knowledge, not sharing it. I the imi- God damn it. The sage is not gonna- Oh, fuck, I expected as much. Fine by me. I wanted to resolve the matter peacefully, but she leaves me no choice. That being said, I need more info before I can contact Gambit. An elven mage is not an easy target. God damn it, I need to learn more about her. Alright, let's see if Triss knows anything. Yo, Triss? Yes? Ida Yemin. Yeah, could you tell me something about uh, Ida? No, not really. She rarely visits our meetings personally. Preferring Megascope, so I never had a chance to know her better. I see. So, Triss doesn't know anything. Um. What about Chani? Do you know anything? How can I help? How about Ida? Do you know anyone from the Lodge of Sorceress? Uh, do I look like a sorceress to you? No, but maybe you had one of them as a patient. You do understand that I can talk about my patients, right? It's unethical. But anyway, this is the only sorceress I know. Why are you asking? Did something happen? No. I just hope to learn more about the Aya Emin, an elven sorceress from the Lodge. She might help us learn more about Cyrilla's gift, but she refuses to share any knowledge. I see, I don't know anything about her. But I know something about pure blood elves in general, if that helps. I'm listening. You see, though elves are incredibly long-lived, usually only young elves are fertile despite rapidly losing libido over time. However, interacting with humans helps them quickly regain libido. It has something to do with pheromones, I presume. Really? How come that's not common knowledge? The so-called free elves avoid talking about it. And elves who have been living in human cities for centuries have probably never experienced such a condition. Elven society does not approve of intimate relationships with humans, but many sorceresses are well known for their promiscuity. If she has a human lover, it can be a good leverage. I see. This might be useful. Thanks. Anytime. Okay, fine. Let's contact Gambit then. Yo. I hope Gambit doesn't mind the trip to the Blue Mountains. Master Gambit, I need assistance with another matter. Ida Hemin, another member of the Lodge, refuses to share some important information I did. I don't have substantial leverage yet, but my informant suggests she may have a human lover, which is something the Elven Society disapproves. Fighting who he or she is will allow us to get the information we need. Good enough, I'm sending it. Vesemir. If she doesn't have a lover though, we'll need to come up with another plan. However, I can't leave Carrie Moran, so it's up to Gambit. Right, right. So we sent the information, now what? I guess we could capture another guy. Attack? Yeah. God, God damn attack. Kick it. Yeah. Fucking kick it. Yerden, get the enemy. 
Right, okay, we captured him. Uh, afternoon, so how about we get the foglet now? So we'll do a reveal and uh, attack. Oh, that missed. Reveal and reveal. There we go. Dodge. Got them attack and dodge and attack and dodge and you're done. Okay, we got that one as well. So you got all of them now. Let's go see what's up. Buy food. How about some food and carefully fed the creature? Oh. Okay, okay, so how do we harvest from the necker? What is this place? Looks like a prison. Uh, it is. Long time ago, metals who lived here used this place to extract ingredients from monsters without killing them. I see. You want to teach me how to do it? There is not much to teach. You just need some practice. Here's how. I explained her what ingredients I need. Are you serious? No, I won't do it. But you did it with the Agles already. Oh, you. Oh, something like that. Oh, okay. Alright, fine. It's different. Agles is not a brainless monster. I did it for Triss, not for some potion. Looks like she's not ready yet. Find a way to increase the city's lewdness? To make uh, harvesting possible? What? How about harvesting this guy? This again? I already told you, I'm not going to touch those creatures, uncle. Looks like she's not ready. Oh god damn, okay, fine. Fine. Whatever. You don't wanna do it? Fine. I need to go look for some money instead. It's gonna be fine. Okay. Now it's night. How about I send City to Shawnee? Select the book. Let's see. She read this one, so. so under Professor's Desk. Young girls can pass the final exam. So, they. they food fetish. What the fuck? How about this one here? What the fuck? You liked it? This book is kinda indecent, but I want to keep reading it though. I'm curious what happens next. Siri took her time to finish the book. Fair enough. It's morning. Okay. I guess I don't have anything else to do, so I just wait for the night and uh, send Siri to Shawnee again. Right. What about this one? Gang and bang? Where the fuck is that? That might be too much. Let's see. Slippery disease. A young nurse vis visits a uh, rich noble woman who claimed to have uh, health problems. It turns out that there is nothing a finger or three can fix in a few hours. Okay, fine. You can get that one. Yeah, sure. Get that one. What is this book? It's so obscene. I'm not going to read it. Oh, it's too much. I believe Shani. I can't believe Shani gave me this. God damn it. Embarrassed and blushing, Siri tears off the light. The book was too hardcore for Siri, try another one. God damn it. So let's see, we need to create a potion. We need to wait for the next day, apparently we already waited for so many days. Wait for it, the answer of Gambit? Get a bottle of good wine from the shop? Oh, I totally forgot about that. Whoa. I'll need to make a lot of money if I want the wine. Holy fuck. And we need some eggs. Right. Anyway. I'm gonna leave this video here. God damn, this game is so interesting. I mean, it's because of The Witcher. It's like, I really love the The Witcher series games. And this parody game is actually really good. It has a really good story. But anyway, I'm gonna leave this video here. Let me know what you guys think about this episode in the comment section below. If you actually enjoyed the video, give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And as always, I hope to see you again.